Once upon a time, sitting in a yard, he could look up at the endless starry sky, chase the dancing fireflies in the fields at night, breathe in the fresh air all the time. And now, the earth is only a wasteland. Humanity has long fled the earth and made the galaxy their home. But the earth is our internal home planet. The study of earth has never stopped in the post-human era. Back to the home planet era, technology had developed to the peak of what humans knew at that time. However, the development of virtual technology was the drain of real mineral resources, wires, advertising screens, smartphones, and other digital devices made from multiple metals were scattered in every corner of the city. rapid change of technology, the prevalence of consumerism, and plant obsolences led to a surplus of products and increased resources depletion. Despite efforts were made to increase the recycling rate of electronic products, the recycling activities, unfortunately, could not keep pace with the growth of the waste. Over time, the city was inevitably overwhelmed by e-waste. The truth is that nature has given mankind the right to shape it, and man is supposed to obey the law of nature. There would be no later life and intelligence without these precious natural resources as the basis for manufacturing. In fact, these artificial high-tech products are highly problematic. from raw material mining, production, and then shipping. Many toxic chemicals were produced, such as sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides. While the natural oxidation and corrosion of piles of improperly recycled waste are contaminating lands and rivers, this forming acid rain The cycle repeats itself. The e-waste piles will be corroded by the acid rain again, generating new toxic metal compounds. After a long time, the rain finally evaporates. Only these poisonous chemicals remain, gradually forming new crystals wrapped around the ruins.
the end of the world, but also the rebirth of the world.